Seeking English, SAT Workbook, page 317, problem 3, no calculator. And you shouldn't need a calculator for this. A greeting card store has a sale during which it discounts its cards by 20%. Employees of the store receive an additional 25% discount off the sale price. Off the sale price. During the sale, what is the total discount that employees receive off the original price? Okay, answers are 40%, 45%, 50%, 60%. Um, in previous video, I mentioned the hypothesis that wrong answers for the SAT are generated by, excuse me, uh, by running the problem past students without giving them an answer and seeing what wrong answers they come up with. Um, I'm not certain that's true, but it would explain some of the things that you see here. Um, how would they get 40%? Yeah, we'll get there. 45% uh, you get by adding the discounts together. Now, if you added 20, if you saw this problem already, uh, and you added the 20% to the 25%, don't worry about losing a problem on the SAT. Worry about getting fired on your retail job. Okay, that said, uh, it would also be bad to lose a problem on the SAT. Don't add the discounts together. The second discount applies not to the base price, but to the discounted price. Okay, okay. Uh, the fifty percent. I'm ge I'm guessing that somebody uh, just you know doesn't, didn't know what to do. Uh, fifty percent. Who knows? Could be correct. Um, this 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 is what to do. You have uh, two two discount multiples, and in a previous video uh, I mentioned the d discount multiples. You produce the discount multiple by subtracting the discount from one hundred percent. Okay, or I, I don't like percentages that much. I use this. This 0.2 and 0.25 subtracted from one. So one of your one of your discounts is 0 0.8. Okay, that is what you would multiply by the original price of the item in order to get the discounted price. The additional discount you don't come by you, you don't get to it by subtracting anything or adding anything. You have to multiply again. Okay, it's this new price multiplied by the additional discount, which is 25 percent. Okay. 0.75. Now, I have had students who say they can't do this problem without a calculator. Two, two such students, and they, they both were incorrect. They just felt like using a calculator. Uh, you shouldn't have to do it. This is three quarters, okay? Three quarters of 0 0.8 should be 0 0.6. Okay, now be careful. Be careful. What are you solving for? Okay, if you see this, oh, yeah, there it is. No! Don't don't do that. Uh, th this is the this is the discounted price compared to the original price of one, whatever the was. Read the problem carefully. During the sale, uh, what is the total discount that the employees receive off the original price? This isn't the total discount. This is the discounted price. The total discount is this answer. Okay. Now, if you tried to go straight at that answer with the 20% and 25%, yes, there's probably a formula somewhere that you could memorize, but it, would, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't help you understand the problem any better than this. And it's, it's probably more important to, to make sure you get the correct answer for the correct reason than, than just plug something in and, and, and not know what you're doing. Everything on the SAT that uses a formula uses a formula that actually is intelligible. Okay, to, to you. I mean, every, 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 every formula is intelligible to somebody. But if you're, if you're going to take the SAT, you have the capacity to really understand every formula that you would be able to use on the, on the SAT. Oh, there's this part, there's that part. Okay, here, uh, if, you, if, you, if you know what the pieces of the problem are, the, the formula doesn't matter that much. You can just, you can just put it together. Okay? Maybe next time I'll show you a formula. 